Hi you guys, so first of all I want to apologize for my lighting because I know it's not the best, but um, I just got home and I wanted to show you guys my Rouge Bunny Rouge haul from Zunetta.com and then I also picked up a couple of things from the Tom Ford beauty line today and so I was going to go ahead and show you guys those. I'm going to start with the Rouge Bunny Rouge. I also picked up from Zunetta the Trilogy Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil, which um, I cannot recommend enough. I've used it three times now, and I've used a lot of different face oils, and this one just, after one use, my skin was better. It's, I can't even, <laughs> um, it's suitable for all kinds of skin, it helps reduce acne scars, for me, um, the weather here is dreadful. Paris is a really dry, dry city and climate. And um, the cold weather mixed with heaters and all those other elements just make for some deadly skin. Um, and I had flakes and it was just really not pretty. But I used it underneath my moisturizer and it was magical. Um, so anyways, I'll just go ahead and get started. Um, the only things that I ended up ordering were lip products and eye products. They have fa they have a full range of cosmetics. Um, it's a Russian brand. Zunetta is the only place to buy it, although I would still buy from them even if they weren't. They have amazing customer service. They have a lot of niche brands. Um, they... Ah, one just dropped. They carry, um, obviously Rouge Bunny Rouge and Trilogy and um he she tan which i've done a review on and edward bess and becca um they and their customer service is just out of this world so i'm gonna shut up about them and i'll show you what all i got um before this order i had two eyeshadows and i'll go ahead and show you those um this one is unforgettable oriole which is just a shimmery, like, really light champagne color. Um, and then Delicate Hummingbird, which I think is sold out on the site right now. But it's a gorgeous purple. These shadows are like butter. They're some of the best I've ever tried. They last all freaking day long. They're just amazing. Um, so to start, I wanted to get one of the... What are these called? Long Lasting Cream Shadows. And the color that I got is in 57 Brocade Skipper. I would show you, but the little things are really small. Um, and it is a um, just kind of champagne-y color. But it can be built up. Sorry, my light is over here. It can be built up, definitely. You can shear it out. And when you shear it out, it's just a really nice wash. So you can barely see it. Um, but you can build it up to be metallic. Um, I've been using it as a base underneath, I mean, on top of the NARS Smudge Proof. Um, and it just, the shadows go on incredibly over the top. It's a gorgeous color by itself, so I definitely recommend these. Also, their packaging is just gorgeous. And then I got one of their eyeshadow duo. This is the Long Lasting Duo Eyeshadow. Sh eye eyeshadow in A major. And as Rachel pointed out, it's in the Russian. They're a Russian brand. Um, this is what it looks like. This is freaking gorgeous. This is one of the most, this is a really amazing combo. I have it, um, the darker colors in my crease, and then I have this color all over on top of Brocade Skipper today. And it's, they're just, I'll swatch it for you guys. So there are the two colors. This is like a perfect everyday like combo. Um, and it's also, it's bigger than the regular singles. Um, and then I got four eyeshadows. Um, the first one is Whispering Ebis. It'll focus. There you go. 
And this is a gorgeous green. Someone's vacuuming. So that's what that one looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, extremely pigmented. Wonderful. I can't, I can't say enough about these. Um, Jessica from Getting Cheeky pointed out that my videos are kind of like me grappling, not grappling, but speaking exactly what I'm thinking when I'm testing products, um, as opposed to bloggers who talk in their head to themselves and then kind of refine it. So you're getting kind of me raw. Um, then there's Mysterious Tina Moo. I don't know how the hell you say this. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue, kind of aqua. It's not aqua. It's got a little bit of green. No, mm, I don't know. It's just freaking pretty. No, it definitely doesn't have green in it. But there it is. There is a, I think there's a teal too that they do. Um, and I like that they're not just neutral colors. Their neutral colors are really outstanding and I love them. But they've also got some really interesting colors that I haven't really seen before. Um, and then I got, I'm going to save the best for last, Angelic Cockatiels. Why are you not focusing? There you go. And this is um, a little bit darker than um, Unforgettable Oriole, but it's a champagne color. It is what I have on my lids today. Um, it's a perfect champagne color. It's there you go. It's got peach to it, um, so it's on the warmer side. Um, I would say Angelic Cockatiels is more. I mean, um, Unforgettable Oriole is m more neutral, less peach. Then, the last one. This one is talked about everywhere. And I didn't think I was going to like it, but I ordered it anyways. And I cannot even begin to say how excited I am. It is the infamous Obsidian Catbird. This color may be my favorite ever. Look at that. How amazing. It's like a greeny, bronzy deep amazing color there it is look at that and that was just like I literally just like look at this look at that oh I die um it's just I just swipe my finger across the eyeshadow and it's crazy pigmented I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, I have it on as a liner, just like right at my, um, lash line, and it, all it really does is like warm up my eyes, like I have brown eyes, obviously, um, and it just makes them pop, I just, ugh, I love it. Okay, now that I've said, done enough ooing and aahing. I'll show you the lip products that I got. The first one is their lip balm, and it is called Sip of Pink. Well, the the product is called the Shimmering Luxe Balm, and this is in the color Sip of Pink. This is what it looks like. It doesn't really have any color. You can see the sheen. Uh, I love this. It's emollient. It stays on my lips. It it's wonderful. It smells and kind of tastes like white chocolate, which is weird for me. I'm not used to that. Most of the balms I have are like either menti or fruity, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't think it's really flavored, but um, this I just love. I'm, I've been keeping it in my purse and putting it on throughout the day um, just because it's so chic to get out of your bag. Then... Um, so the reason that I put this order in was because they were doing a 20% off of Rouge Bunny Rouge, which was awesome because it's not a cheap brand. Um, it's definitely high-end prices, but um, I was asking...
asked everybody on Twitter what they suggested I get. And Miss Panties, who I'll link below as always, I'll link everybody I talk about in this video, which is like half of YouTube. But um, she said that I had to get raw silence. And she's like the queen of red lips. So I knew it was going to be amazing. Um, so here it is. This is what the tube looks like. These are all heavy, like, metal. Here is the color. Look at that. So pretty. I also, this is really random, but I love the shape of the tube because it really fits perfectly on my lips. It's not straight. It's got a little dip in it. Um, let's see. We'll swatch this here. This is glossy. It's not super opaque. You can tell, but this is just such a pretty red. Um, it's definitely buildable. I mean, you could build it to full coverage, but I like that it gives you that versatility and it's just, it's so glossy. Look, I love it. And this is one of their, hold on. There's two, they have two formulations of lipstick. I have my laptop right here. I'm looking. One of them is the color burst lipstick, which is what raw of silence is. And the next one I'm going to show you. And then they have Hold on, I'm trying to remember what the other one's called. They have a sheer one, but I wanted to let you guys know. Just all of their products have crazy names. Like the eyeshadows are technically called. It doesn't say here. They're called Rouge Bunny Rouge, Long Lasting Eyeshadows, When Birds Are Singing. And then each, that's like the name of the product. And then each one has a name that's a bird. Um, Jesus, where are these lipsticks? Ah, okay. The other ones are called Succulents of Dew, just FYI. So anyways, the other color burst that I got is in the color Nothing Unknown. And it, ah, and it looks like this. Hold on, I was going to pull up the um, description for you guys because... The swatches aren't necessarily the best on Zunetta, but they describe the products like to a T and the, they also tell you what kind of skin tone it's suitable for, which I find so helpful. Um, so nothing unknown, their description, it says best selling cool nude beige base with an ash mauve opalescent, opalescence. Every woman should have this lipstick in their lipstick wardrobe. This may be my perfect My Lips But Better lipstick. This is what it looks like. Um, there's a swatch. And I'm just going to put this on. Like, it is literally My Lips But Better. So see, it's like the perfect nude color. It goes with everything. Um, I was wearing this with this look earlier. My cheeks are a little pink because I've been outside. Um, and then the Succulents of Dew lipstick that I got is called Murmurings. And they described this one as... Hold on. I have to read you. I just... It's the most helpful thing. And they're so creative and cute. And, ugh. Um... Okay, the description of this is wet effect, sheer, cool, dancing. And then in parentheses, it says, like, you've just eaten a bowl of cherries. That, that sold me. Um, I love that look. Oh, I chipped mine. Um, that, like, when you eat cherries and your lips get, like, red. Okay, well, anyways, this is what it looks like. I wore this yesterday and got so, so many comments on it. Everybody's like, what are you wearing? So there's what that looks like. It's right here. And it doesn't look like it would be, I don't know, it kind of just plays with your lip pigmentation. Um, I don't know. I love it. I love everything I got. Um, I will continue to buy things from them. They have amazing brands. They have amazing customer service. Rouge Bunny Rouge is just one of the many, many brands. Um, so... I am going to stop this video. I will film a video about my
Tom Ford stuff next. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye.